Okay, so um, just all right, we have our next drop location, right? Where we're supposed to head to? Yeah, you uh, chased that um, that message that was sent out of here, and it was chased back to some place that's like six hours away by Bangaroo. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and try to talk to the AI again and see if there's any decipherment on what we sent to them, like all that data, besides like just a location. If there's any intelligence. Okay. Sorry, I had some window thingy there. Is there anything interesting in the room? Um, there's like the mainframe, and I mean, I mean, I left to interact with, maybe not. But there's like, well, there's like ground up fucking tech priest now. And, uh, I guess did you guys ground up this, or did you ground up this uh, renegade dude too? I guess he'd be ground up. I just caved in their skulls, if anything, like the back of their heads with the servo arm. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, like, I know, just I trying to dismember them. <laughs> um, no, this is basically the room. It's like a surgery room, almost. It's where they did a lot of their cybernetic implants and stuff. And that was a lot... Of, I think uh, I think you had asked uh, last session stuff about the... asking about information that you had sent back to... Sasha, and I think she responded saying that, um, she said that, what did she say? She, she, I think she told you where the messages were sent to, and she told you that it was a, that, that where it was sent to was like a, uh, it was like a, uh, what is it? It was like a gang, it was like a gang, it's like where the gang areas kind of are, it's like the more shady side of, of the pleasure world, I guess. All right. Um, looks like we have no other intelligence other than this is where the gangs are holed up. We should expect low impact weaponry, but I still say we be cautious about, well, any weaponry that can bring us down. Any methods of approach, brother? To attack that facility? Yes. Oh. Living rod is like the same damage for fucking enemies. What do we know of the layout of the facility? Do we know who's in there? Uh, the place you're going to? The layout of it? Yeah, you know. Give us a little info on it then. Yeah, it's like a, um, it's, the building, the building plans come up as like a, uh, it's like a, it's like a social, social building that it comes up on it. So, like some gang lord's nightclub, basically. <laughs> Is there like uh, an underground ex entrance or exit or, I mean, do we like know the blueprints of the facility? Floor plans are, are pretty basic. It's it's mainly just like a, it's base, It's pretty much like a two-story building and that's really it. There's, there's not, there's not like anything really special about it. Can we get anything more detailed than that? Like an actual drawing of the building since we're going to it or? Yeah, I could throw out a drawing of it on the board if you want. I'll go ahead and do that Please. for you. Guys, we are back again. I drew my cool, awesome building over here. Yeah. What's this uh, pink bordered black square? Pink bordered black square? Where? Above the building, next to the hive tyrant and horn uh, Oh, it's nothing. It's my shit getting stuck when I'm drawing. Oh, okay. No, it's a nuclear bomb that's sitting outside the thing, the building. So yeah, so that's like where your message was traced to. Who do I have over here? Oh, okay. But yeah. Um. All right, so I guess while you guys are like, or while you're like servo arming people and stuff and figure out what you're doing, Marcus responds back to you over his box and he's like, he's like, hello, you guys hear me? Brother, we are here. He's like, okay. Um, James is gone, so Shadris and I are gonna go track him down and make sure that, you know, he doesn't do anything fucking stupid since he knows about us. And yeah, we're gonna find him and kill him. 
So we'll meet up with you guys later if we can. Otherwise, we'll uh, meet back up with a kill ship, I guess. Agreed. All right, man. Mark us out. That kind of sounds like him, right? <laughs> All right, so here we are. A bunch of dead people. This is the in first here. level. What's that? This is the first level that you drew up. Yeah, it's it's all it's it's kind of well. That's like all that's there, really. I mean, there's there's not much. I mean, like you go past the red door thingy there, and then you kind of walk up some steps. I guess I'll draw some steps, and then that's kind of the second level. That's all that's there. It's the entire thing. It's fucking huge, dude. It's like four Space Marines wide. Okay, there's no like second level or basement level. Nope. This is it. Yep. All right. One entrance, huh? No back entrance. Is that? Well, is that wraparound thing stairs then that you're slashing? Yeah, going up like that is. To a balcony, so like look down on their peons. Yeah, so you can look down on their peons. <laughs> okay. <coughs> yeah, no like my stairs. So that. Never figure out what colors I want to use for like doors and shit, so I always just select random ones and slap them on there. There's a turret in that hallway though. But yeah, that's the layout. So. Ready to go whenever you guys are. So you said this is just the one entrance? There's no back entrance or anything? No, nope, they just had that one entrance. It's a pretty simple building. I mean, you could blow your way in if you wanted to. That's always an option. That That's where like the trucks stop and deliver all like the alcohol and other stuff they sell and everything? Yeah, it's like a huge fucking parking lot and shit out of the side, I guess. I can draw that out for you if you want. No, that's fine. I mean, I was just asking just to make sure. I turned to Sorrow. Brother, seeming as there's only one exit, I suggest that we burn this building down, forcing the populace and whoever else to rush out. Then we can pick off the high-priority targets with, well, with impunity. Is that parking lot you're drawing? Yes, but keep doing your stuff, man. It's, it's cool. It needs a yellow door. <laughs> yellow door? That's ridiculous. What are, what's the building made out of, anyways? Fuck, I don't know. Shit, steel? Iron? Building materials. <laughs> it's just a solid metal fucking building. <laughs> Concrete. What a waste. Nothing we'll special. Stick with concrete. Um. Destructible what material. Is that? Is this other thing parking lot? Yeah, it's fucking parking lot, bro. It's got a nice little cement barrier wall around it, you know, so people don't like go all crazy. I'm going clubbing, holy shit! Running over everything. Yeah. Actually, rich people, only rich people can really. Well, I guess rich people do live in this world, so they don't have vehicles. Yes, that's Most right. Mass transport. That's right. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you just jelly. Brother, what do you say about burning the building down? This is the home of heretics. Thank you. Yeah, gathering more information, I was give you a moment. What's. And underneath the second story room there. What's like, story? Is the hallway wraps around it? Is it just like a flat wall under it as well? Oh, it's like a flat wall, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing underneath it. You think two space marines can push a car up against the door? Yeah, probably. I can lift one up by myself with my servo arm, dude. Yeah, you can put a tank up yeah. against the door. Uh, 
parking lot walls. It may be it may be advisable to block the only entrance in the building. It may be advisable to create a barrier against the only entrance in the building and then force our way through another force our way into the building through our opening of our own creation, thereby flooding all the people towards somewhere and trapping them in the building itself instead of letting them run out everywhere. Well, with only one entrance, and if the building was burning down, we would just ha we would just be able to shoot whoever you know was a heretic. But I mean, that's a good deal too. Burning, we can do that. Burning, I'll help you. Building can create other openings in. Well, there's sure. I mean, if we, right if we, if we, this is a normal house. There's windows to jump out of. I mean, it's not a normal house, but. And there's really only one entrance and exit in this building? <laughs> the architect should be fired, dude. <laughs> the engineer who approved it, like, sent to jail. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, there's, like, no fires ever on this planet, so, like, everything's in paradise, dude. They don't have to, like, think of fire exits and stuff. Can I query so, this uh, system, uh, this planet's, like, fire control system? Is there, like, anything, like, that we're overlooking? Like, if a fire starts... Aircraft and drones are instantly dispatched to put it out, or something stupid that would make our plans look dumb. Oh, <laughs> make your plan look dumb. Make it tech we'll use, I guess. Well, I don't know. You like on a? Are you guys you're back in a terminal? You guys leave this room. What's going on? Um, I mean, I'm gonna use the mainframe that's here before like we leave and make our assault. Right. I mean, okay. Why not get as much information as we can? Yep. You want? Okay. So, um, for like. Yeah, so they're they're like is like they're they're they'll dispatch shit if there's like fires and stuff, but it'd be like civilian stuff, you know, civilian firefighters coming out and do this kind of stuff, take a little bit. Um, for this specific area in town, the response time would be bigger, since again this is more of like in a shadier spot, which still isn't really that shady. It's just not the rich snobby people's spot of the, you know, side of the town. It's the uh, somewhat rich, snobby people side of the town, basically. I'll get started. Well, here's my proposal then. Blocking the entrance would be good, and then we could create our own entrance and then wade through them with impunity, but if we were to start a fire on top of the building, the ceiling would collapse onto them. Anyone who came out, we could just kill and be assured that you know, this was a cleared project. We would have to stay in the direction of the wreck. There's, because there's no guarantee that we'd kill whatever's in there with a fire. But it would be heavily wounded, whatever it was that came out. Even a space marine would have trouble dealing with a ton of concrete that was flaming, falling on their head and trapping them. Perhaps we should The idea, the idea is sound. We need to pick a place to set a fire then in the building itself. The top of it won't burn down through the building. It needs to be like under it, up against a supporting wall that will collapse the building itself. Or collapse about parts this? of the building. Okay, go ahead, dude, sir. See where my little pointer is on the building? Yeah. I think that's a good spot to start uh, because fire there is on a support wall which will spread and drop the building towards the door forcing people towards the door they won't be able to stay back behind the fire as it happened it'll be a controlled crash hopefully killing most of the people who don't catch it and the ones who do will be stuck in the parking lot with us so does uh do you want us to test anything to like formulate those plans better or make them more successful Hosen or uh no I mean it's all it's all on you guys really I mean I, I mean I mean if this was like a really big kind of assault kind of thing I, I could ha if you had like tactics assault I'd make you roll it or something like that for additional information but it, this is a this is pretty this is pretty as simple as it gets there's not too much complex about this metagaming well I don't know, we may actually be in trouble. You said the building's concrete, right? 
uh, or like building materials, whatever the fucking they use in 40k futuristic pleasure world building materials. It's, um, it's probably like plasteel support beams, you know, with like rockcrete surrounding it, and like whatever other cheapest like building materials they have laying around. Plasters I doubt any of it burns. That burns well. Anything when it gets hot enough burns, and it'll collapse. No. It takes an insane fire to melt just basic metal. Okay, guys. I mean, remember, the red iron I work with has a melting point of almost 3,000 okay, degrees. Okay, remember what we use vent for. Alright, come on, carry on. <coughs> okay. Yell so at him, and, yell at him in character about we it. Have something, assuming we have a... Do we have a melt bomb or anything? Potent? Uh, we have crack grenades. Those won't set fire to anything. But what about a lot of fuel? There's vehicles. We can just siphon Prometheus from like anywhere and bring it. We can talking character. <laughs> I have a jump pack. I can get up on the roof and with whatever fuel we have, I guess, and punch a hole through the roof and dump the fuel in the light. But we still need a lighter, something to light it with. And crack grenades are Fragmentation grenades? No, crack grenades are... I don't know what they do. Or, uh, what, do they do? what do they do? Crack grenades are? Pretty, Pretty much, like an RPG pin. round. Yeah, they have like, pen six. Yeah, just single target kind of things. So they can blow through support beams. And then the so fire can the just do the rest. We still need to be able to set a fire with something. Let's just, seriously, let's just... Um, I mean, brother, we... We can go to some of the petrol stations and acquire Prometheus. It's it's everywhere. It's a common fuel in the Imperium. Armstrong, just throw the car through the uh, building, and then throw a grenade in after it. That'll make set the just car on fire, blowing it up, setting everything on fire. It'll also be quite just spectacular. Just rig like a a frag or something like that, or yeah, you just throw it through behind the car. I mean, you your aim. I mean, your character's got pretty good ballistic skill. You should be able to land one on it or near it. Anyway. Probably shoot right from the mag rail at it. Pew pew. You could probably just shoot it with a car, or shoot it with your gun and blow it up too. Because it's explosive, uh, the, yeah. Yeah, the bolt rounds are explosive. I like that idea. Let's blow a car up. Hey, Hosen, do you think I could jump pack with him and a car up onto the roof? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, we'll I wonder be... how strong yeah jetpacks really are. How about just him? Can he throw a car up there and I jump back up with him? Throw a car to you up there? No, just throw a car up there. I'm not catching a fucking car. <laughs> Catch! I could, but I'm not. Uh. I mean, like, you know, he can tilt and lift up sides of cars and rhinos and, you know, all that kind of shit. I don't know how far up he could like throw a car with his servo arm. That's true. Okay, so I mean, let's simplify it. Then. He could how probably about we just push a bunch of cars up to the entrance and blow them all up, causing havoc, <laughs> chaos at the front of the building, collapsing it towards the back, hopefully killing everybody in the back of the building, or forcing them out the front through the front. All right, and then. I mean, we gotta be there waiting for him at the front. If that's where we're gonna force him. So just run over there after we do all this. We're getting, we're getting cars from the parking lot, right? I was. Is you, it? Yeah. Is there? Yeah, you could. Yeah, there, there's. It? There will be. I mean, as well. I don't. I don't know. You're not there yet. There might not be any cars in the parking lot. It might be closed down. Okay, let's go there then. We'll yeah, see. I don't know. Unless we have any other information we need to acquire. Mm. I'm gonna go back to see if the Camaro we dropped off at the very beginning of the mission is still there. All right, so you guys, you're heading back outside. Somebody yeah. stole our Camaro. Camaro's gone. Well, I mean, it's probably James because he like we like let him go. Probably. I don't know where our Camaro was. And as you backtrack through the rooms, yeah, I mean James is gone too. His two friends are still dead there. Because, you know, I'm fucked, but he's gone. I'm going to grab their microbead, actually off one of the dead guys, and plug it into our box, see if we can hear anything on the 
Arbite's channel. Okay. There's a, I mean, there's a, there's some stuff going back, like you know, it's like, you know, minor minor crime report. Go and check it out. Nothing big though. Check it out. Check it out. But basic Arbite stuff. Nothing that really catches your interest. Okay. Unless you want to go investigate some misdemeanors or something. Judge Dredd. <laughs> Space Marine Judge. All right. Well, uh, I guess we can go back to the Adeptus Arbite Station and uh, requisition some more shit from the Lord General. Or the uh, Lord Marshal, I mean. And get a ride over there. Because <laughs> I don't think we want to walk over there. You can take bag rails if you want. We can take the what? Mag rail. Mag rail. A private mag rail? Or is it like a trans normal public transport? It'd be more. It's the one that's on this planet, or the one that runs by that, uh, the establishment in question that you're trying to go to, would be more for a public one. It mainly. It mainly connects like down to where you guys are going to transport, um, like I guess more common people on the planet to different areas on the planet so they can go and like work essentially. It's more of a public one. So we're hijacking a magra because we're not riding with normal people. <laughs> I didn't say you had to ride with normal people. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> like what we're doing is not riding with normal people. Then let's go back to the Arbite station. I mean, that's... How close is that compared to, like, hijacking a mag rail? Compared to our goal? And, like, how far that's away? Uh, your mag rail station's not too far away. It'd be pretty much... It'd, pre it'd pretty much be, like, zero random encounters. I mean, it's, like... I don't know. Like, 100... It's, like, 200 meters away from you. It's not very far. Go back to the uh, Arbite's thing would have a chance to provoke some random encounters because it's a bit further away. So it's up to you. Whatever you want. Random encounters on a pleasure world. I wonder what the fuck we'd encounter. Yeah, who knows, man. Who pleasurable knows? stuff. Pleasurable encounters. So I think space Captain, and space they aren't leaving. Yeah, they are. It doesn't mean anything. I was thinking about it earlier today because the Emperor has children. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere in Space Marines couldn't have children. Okay. Fuck bitches, give my right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, head over to the mag station then. That sounds like the quickest way to our goal, and we don't want the enemy to be alerted. I think they already are, but we don't want to give them more time to prepare. Is that cool with you, Sarah? Heading to the mag rail? Yes. Onward. Alright. Alright, so you walk over to the uh, mag rail station, which isn't very far. Um. When you get can there, can we sneak over there? I mean, without can we be like stealth, stealthy? I mean, I know some people are gonna see us, but I don't want to be creating a scene with like a crowd of people like gathering around us and pointing and shit. Because we have stummers, and uh, we can. I have tactics, recon, and stealth. Hopefully, we can get over there without too much notice. Um. Okay. Yeah. Are you like trying to like make it so that nobody notices you, or are you just kind of like maybe trying to just not act like out of place? Which I mean. Is you know, or or more so out of place than you already are. Is that kind of what you're going for? Are you like trying to go for like total concealment kind of thing? Well, I'm gonna actually before we leave, probably grab some clothes and you know drape them over us, like a robe or something like that, or like some burlap sack just to kind of hide ourselves or myself. And I'll tell sorrow you should do the same for the the public. He has his dark angel robe. Sack. I'm just whatever, dude. I mean, just something to like cover like our huge amount of like insignias and power armor I mean we'll still be big but people won't know exactly what's going on uh need a cloak of some sort but you know I have a jump pack on it'll be like an immense hunchback of Notre Dame <laughs> I mean that's fine as long as I don't see like you know like all this crazy archaeo tech mutant so mutant did you find something to put on us a cloak yeah like in the bins in the bins okay. and like the dead guy stuff we can just shred it and like you know, open up like even like pants or I mean, just like something. We can jerry rig it within like ten minutes or so. Yeah, tech priests are all wearing. I was robes. just asking. I was just making. I was just asking if you had gathered stuff already. Or not. 
Yeah, I mean the tech priests were That's all wearing high. robes, so you could always make something out of that. I just need to cover up my shoulders. The rest of my gear is usually covered by my robe. My shoulders, right. my backpack, of course. We'll get you stuff for that, and then uh, yeah, like I'd like to get out, get out there with like very minimum people like spotting us. It, no one would be best, but I mean we can go with like a few people. Like those guys are huge. What the hell? But they'll probably stay away because we're huge. <laughs> How far away did you say this building was, Jose? It's probably like uh, a, one we're trying to go to. It's probably like uh, I think I said like 150 to 200 meters. How far can you fly with a jetpack in one minute before I have to re whatever it? Uh, I think it gives you a flyer trade of twelve, so twelve per. It's like, let's see, it lasts one minute, gives you a flyer rate of twelve, so one hundred twenty meters in a minute, basically. Wait, so is this building is one hundred and fifty meters away? Yeah, the mag rail is like it's like one hundred fifty to two hundred meters away. Yeah, it's not very far. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can we can seriously get there like really quickly. So yeah, let's just book it over there and use stealth to kind of just, you know, if anything, just make people not notice us as much. So can I? Uh, I mean, the buildings—it's just a bunch of buildings stepped up there here. Can I jump up onto them and run along the top with him to kind of forward scout? Yeah, if you want to jump on top, you can. Okay, let's do that. Okay. I'll help forward scout for. Uh, are you, okay, so I guess if you're going to sneak too, I guess roll really like your concealment. Both of you. Okay. That's a failure. That's concealment. You been with your stummer thing on? Well, stummer only counts for silent move. No, okay. I failed as well. Okay. It's uh, is it perception? No, was it agility plus? Yeah, I failed. Even a plus to me would do it for me. So. Okay. So Saw takes to the rooftops, it activates his jump pack, jumps on top of him, smashes like one of the roofs in, and continues to go along the rooftops, smashing them in as he goes, causing a lot of property damage. Well, I can land ge more gently than that. <laughs> Make a pilot personal test. Okay. <laughs> Passed. Okay. So you land on it, but you know, your weight still kind of does some damage to it. And the more important thing is is uh as I guess well I guess I, as Castle is kinda like I guess goes through the street and stuff, I mean you can see you know, you see like some people pointing up at him and stuff like that, like like what is that guy doing? Why is he so big? Where's his armor? And then they kinda like look at you and stuff. Though you are dressed a little bit Differently, people still kind of question you as you go, but nobody, nobody's gonna stop you as you're going. So, um, so as you scout ahead, sorrow, um, you get to you would get you naturally get to the magrill first, and you have a pretty good clear, uh, pretty clear view of it. So why don't you go ahead and roll an awareness test? This would be sight. I have it's a plus five no plus four for perception and then a plus two so I don't have a I fail. Uh, okay. Make sure you add your height and senses and your aspects. Should give you like a plus forty, I think. Twenty from aspect and passed. twenty from height and yeah. sense. If I'm not mistaken. I have to make a concentration check or spend half or I, I just spend half around concentrating though to use my augury array. No. It's well, that's a, that's fine. I mean, you're not in combat, I so I have round floating in the air. Yeah, you're not in combat, so I just assume that the bonus kind of goes with you, unless it's like a yeah, really no, quick on the fly kind of thing. But this wouldn't be it. So, okay. <clears throat> so it looks like you're actually in luck. There is a uh, there is a there is a uh, train or a ray or mag train in uh, that's you know docked right now, and. Um, and from the looks of it, it looks actually to be almost like a decommissioned military mag train. Has extra like armor platings and shit on it, and yeah, looks looks like it's almost meant to transport like military stuff. 
and defend itself if it were to transport. At least the armor platings look, you know, more robust than, you know, what your average uh, rail would have, your average train would have. Hold, Castleus. I spot something in the distance. Give me a moment to check it out. I guess Castleus hold. Hmm. He does not respond. Where's the? Is it like just along our path, the trail, the train station, or whatever? Or is it just sitting on some rails? It's. You mean the the current train has just docked with the station right now? Oh okay. Um. Uh, well, let me watch for a moment and see who gets out of it. Okay. So you sit there for a moment, and, um, you know, the doors open up and stuff, and, uh, it, some people get off of it, but they all seem, uh, mainly civilian. Uh, zooming in more, and, uh, uh, I guess, well, I guess roll an awareness for this one. I go for that. Okay, wow. All right, so... Scanning over more with your aspects, you do see a, f you do see like one person come off, and uh, he looks like he bears the scars of combat. Though he's not dressed up as like he's not dressed in any military uniforms. He's he seems more like he he's dressed in more like a worker's uniform. Seems more like uh, you know he's probably the I'm one who, to blend in. or he's probably the one that runs the uh, the current train. Though he seems to have like uh, scars from battle and stuff, and he's you know like I guess like assisting people get off and whatnot. And, right. Yeah. And can I is the can I tell where the train would be headed to next? Like, can I see the track path from where I'm standing? Yeah, this this one would be heading towards wh uh, where you want to go, your destination. Um, Castleus, uh, in front of us, or just ahead of us, is a train station where what looks to be a a decommissioned military train has docked. I've also spotted somebody who might be able to help us um, requisition this train if you would be if you want to. If you want to get it. Affirmative, brother. How do you wish to approach? I can identify myself as an Arbites, or we can go in as Adeptus Astatus. Uh, he bears the scars of battle. Perhaps it would be better to use, perhaps it would be wise to use our presence as Space Marines to help us convince him to wreck the train. Such a shitty train. Agreed. I shall approach him. Be an overwatch then, I guess. For the I'll come down if you need me to. Sounds good. I'm gonna head up, Hosen. Where's this dude at? He's gonna be um, sitting up on the. Into... Yeah, now I'm telling. Just tell him, Hosen. I'll act like we told him. He'd be sitting up on like the Magrail station. I do kind of like this little thing down here. If you wanna hop over here, it's up to you. Oh, I see it. Okay. Got some insides here, so it's not just a shitty skeleton kind of thing. The front's already kind of shitty, so whatever. Just like this little docking thing. All right, so you head on over to it. Yes, sir. All right, upon uh, all right, so you head on over to it. And uh, kind of looking at it, it seems like a uh, kind of small. You know, there's not too many people that use the mag stations on the Pleasure World, so it's generally small. More speed on it, though. You know, um, though, uh, just to kind of characterize it out more. It, it does have its little like you know cabin kind of shit there, bullet head kind of train, and then in the back it actually has um, it actually has like another kind of segment attached to it. Like, it would be used to hold stuff around, but there's nothing, like, really on it. It's more just, like, really just, like, a flat um, platform. And that's it. 
Where's this guy at? I don't see him. I haven't slapped anyone down yet for this. Uh, okay. I can if you want me to. I need to get some images though. If you want no, 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 that's fine. I'm, I'm just gonna go up. I've just been waiting to go up and talk to him. <laughs> that's right. All. Sorry, drawing. Um, okay. All right. So you walk up to the. You walk up and enter into the Magrail station. And as you do it, um, people are getting off and and populating the area and you know pointing at you and stuff like ah things like that and you know face and face stuff. Civilians mainly. No one. No one's trying to you know pull a fast one on you or anything yet. Anyways, um, what are they saying? Just like look at him, he's big and shit like that. Yeah, they're like, they're like one one person's like, uh, ooh, Cezron's in it for now, or like Cezron's gonna get it now when those people get him, get a hold of him. It's like you know stuff like that. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. I think from last session, I'm, I don't know if I told you or if the information went back, but Cezron would be the gang leader dude's name. Which is, which would be okay. his name would be like on all the transactions for the, uh, for like the customers or the people I go to, that were meeting up with those heretics that you guys fucked up basically. Yeah, some people are like, oh, Cezron's in trouble now. Mm mm mm. Uh, okay. So as you get closer to, uh, where the, uh, dock port is, I guess. Um. Kind of a scarred up looking man in worker, you know, like mag worker uniform kind of looks over to you. And he just, he just like kind of laughs to himself. He's like, <laughs> he's like, well, I guess my day's not getting any easier as you approach him. Identify yourself, civilian. He's like, uh, he's like, people around here call me Desmond. I operate this here, uh, Mac train. Did you say his name was Desmond? Yeah. Last name, really. So he's giving you his last name. Got it. Not his first name. Not a that's like You operate this train, civilian? This is here I do. Does this train go to these coordinates? I give him like the uh the building description and like where we're going. He's like He's like, for you, this train can go anywhere it wants, or anywhere you want it to go. You have our thanks. And I make a quick motion, a signal to uh, Sorrow to come down. I'm going to try not to blow the world up when I land, Hosen. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pilot personal. I'm just going to land like outside the station. Oh, okay. But I don't like annihilate it. Cause I can't like just punch through the roof of the mag station. It'd be badass, but I dare you to do it. That'd be hilarious. The infrastructure is not even what I'd be worried about. I'd be worried about the people walking around on it. <laughs> oh, exactly, dude. I'd just punch through everything. I'd fuck some dude's world up. Land on like an eight-year-old child. Crunch. <laughs> just fucking exhaust billowing, melting people's faces and shit all around. <laughs> be like an awesome rock concert. Uh, I land and then I go here and here. All right. So you're oh, also. I'm going to approach them. You're also saluted. All right. So as you approach, you're you're saluted by this, by this uh, scarred up man. You know, he's got like he's got like battle scars and stuff on his face. His arms are torn up and stuff too. He's seen some. It looks like he's seen some combat. He has like some lads fire burn, or like some lads burns on him. Mm-hmm. He's like, so he's like, this is where we're gonna be going then. He's like, it's always an honor to serve the Deptus Arbides. Or not the Arbides, burp. The uh, <laughs> Deptus are stars. I nodded him. How do you recognize us? He's like, come on, man. <laughs> it's like you're the only one. You're the only ones that's uh, you know towering around here. Besides, I fought I like along I'm, your. I, I like fought I'm along like, your. I step a little bit. Got it. It's like I fought along your you you peoples before. Your kind before. I step closer to him. I'm like, your discretion is appreciated. Nods to you. It's like uh. All right. So I'm assuming you want me to take you here. Please, 
with much haste. It's like, all right, well, go ahead and board. D yells at, he yells at like some other people. He's like, Hickens, Swatson, we got a package to deliver. You see like some really skinny guy poke his head out through one of the windows. And he like quickly ducks back under. And then the uh, train like starts to shoot, like start up again. And then uh, Desmond walks back onto it. Kind of like waiting to you guys, I guess. He's like, come on, or whatever. So as you board, um, it's completely empty. Everyone that was on it, you know, they're off of it. You're greeted by two other people, though, as you as you uh, walk on, or as you aboard it. So a total of three people. Uh, the other two guys look like they were... They've also seen combat. They also have like burns and stuff on them, and and other battle scars. Desmond uh, kind of like points over to this really, you know, kind of skinny looking guy. He's like that that over there be uh, that over there be Swanson. He's uh, not too bright, but a uh, pretty good shot. Uh, if you can't tell, all of us uh, at one point served in the uh, Imperial Guards. So I'm sure you picked that. Were up. you all discharged from action? Uh. Something like that. Something like that, he says. Can I detect anything like in his voice, like if it's regret or if it's uh, hinting to something else, or? Uh, not so much regret, but f memories of past coming back, I guess. These, I mean, they're still they're still fairly young, but they're they're in like their good late thirties or so, but still still fairly young people. But he's like, well, I guess we'll fire. Every he's like, I guess we'll fire everything up and uh, head on. So, uh, yeah. So then Des Desmond goes like up to the front into his his like cockpit and shit, his train magrail cockpit, and uh, starts firing up the engines and stuff. I'm gonna try with my aspects to uh, see if there's any uh, vox or anything on this train. Okay. Um, so I guess I uh, roll awareness. Or, well, I guess not. Well, it's like a six. It's like a fucking six-hour ride. Well, tech use, yeah, tech use would be for like um, things you can't normally see and stuff. So I guess you. But I mean, this would be like naked eye stuff you could see. But it's a long uh, ass. I mean, I'm, I'm scanning for electronic devices that may or may not be like in our caboose or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but like a, an aspect tech use would be like detecting like vapors, and like gases and stuff. Okay. But um, I mean, fail. All right. So you'll you'll eventually detect what is on it. It'll just take you some time to search around and stuff, I guess. Um, go ahead and make your right. side test if you want to, Sarah. I pass. Um, okay. So, as for psychic disturbances and stuff like that, uh, you don't detect any on the current car you're on, and as for the platform kind of thing that's being hulled behind it, uh, there's nothing really on it visually, or really anything there, so, uh, nope. There's nothing. Are we kind of like the only car on this train, then? And there's just other shit around it? Yeah, I mean, uh, you pretty much have, like, your whole passenger thing up in the front, and then for whatever reason, there's just another, I guess, like, cargo kind of car behind it. I guess if Are people... Are we able to walk through the train? Uh, you could, like, jump over to it. You can, like, there's, like, ladders oh. you can climb to get on top of this, <coughs> and then you could jump over to it if you wanted to. I was just seeing if it was, like, a like inner city subways are or stuff or um, no not even just inner city but like tram ways and everything they're all just put together i was just seeing if it was one of those where you could see all the way through the train or not right if it's just this it's just what since it's like individual cars then it's fine it's all i was checking on was uh seeing kind of how the cars were connected and stuff right and seeing if there's any way that we might be shot at from either ends without us 
knowing them coming into the con. Right. But the, they're not, so we're good. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much you pretty much have to get on top, and then jump over to that other car. Right. If you wanted to see like what's in it, you know, because uh, I mean, it's it's this is like a decommissioned military uh, mag rail, but it still has like its extra car because it's like a it's like a permanently attached car almost. So to carry around, you know, I guess like extra supplies and stuff or whatnot is what it'd be used for. Yeah. All right. So uh, I just wait until we get there. All right, so the uh, the engines fire up and whatnot, and um, the other two guys start going to work and whatnot and stuff like that, and operating all the other shit that needs to be operated. Um, so you travel on it for a while, and um, I guess like as you go, you kind of like survey your areas and whatnot, and you know everything kind of looks the same as you go through a pleasure world. I guess all the buildings are relatively the same. Um, Roll a uh, an awareness test. Sight. Uh, is this motion detection or sight. is it sight? Okay. I mean, the reason I ask is Ospex gets a plus twenty to motion detection. So, would that count in this or no? Uh, no. If Ospex is motion detecting this, then no. I thought Ospex just give you a plus twenty overall to like sight and stuff, but. Gives you a plus 22 awareness checks, yeah. I mean, but for motion detection. <laughs> well, this... Yeah, I, I mean, it could be something moving, so... Yeah, go ahead and slap it on. Okay. That's still a fail. <laughs> well, I'm past mine, so... What do I know? Um... Behind you is, like really far behind you like 150 meters behind you is another train and it's and by your calculations it'll eventually catch up to you that's weird momentum huh um is there anything on the train car behind me as i glance back well i guess not since i can actually see it so we're on the last car of our train, and then there's like just just a uh, uh, just a flatbed train car behind us, and then there's nothing on the flatbed train car. Yeah, pretty much. It's a flatbed. Um, uh, Brother Castles, um, I suggest you ready yourself. It seems there's a train running up. It seems there's a train that will catch up to us before we arrive at our destination, and I don't know its intent. And this is over box. I'm not saying it out loud. Of course. I haven't said anything out loud yet. I open up the door, and I'm going to look at that train behind us. All right. So, uh, as you, you know, I guess, focus more or take more time to look at it, you do, in you do indeed see another train coming up behind you, though it is like 150 meters out. I ready my uh, bolter with the telescopic sight and switch into Kraken bolts. I'm going to prepare, I'm going to take a full aim action to aim at their treads. And I tell uh, Sorrow, say the word if you detect anything else. If they pull too close, I will blow out their treads, or at least try it. Uh, did you say these are maglev trains? Yeah. They don't have treads, they're hovering above the track. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna shoot whatever I can that will derail them. <laughs> they don't like they don't run on rails. Really, they have. Uh, they well, then I'll throw a crack grenade in the in the rail. <laughs> that would work actually a lot better anyway. Just give me the word, sorry. You've probably thrown countless uh, crack grenades. Probably need more than one just to blow the rail out. Because I mean, you just blow one single thing out, probably just roll over it. It'd just roll over and lose speed. Yeah. You'd actually have to derail the train. And I don't... I mean, you'd take... Yeah, a couple... You'd have to blow out like a good... Uh, pretty easy. You'd have to blow out like a good... um, Probably like five meters worth of rail to completely stop it. Or to make it so where it'd you be like a what? threat or something. 
Yeah, because what it'd have to do is drop the train's front end enough to uh -huh. catch the ground, because it you know, just sits up over a little bit. What you might be able to do, actually, is shoot through the front of the train, punch through into the console, high, short it out, and hopefully that would work. That would be good. That would be another thing. Is that other train heavily armored as well? Um, it looks fairly normal. There's not. It's not as heavy armored as like yours and stuff. There you go. The, we have What's the front of it really look like. Is there, is there like any conductor or anything we can see, or is it just all covered up? Windows. The windows tend to be completely black. Can't see in. I'm gonna switch aspects to infrared. Take see if I can see through the front of the train. Uh, it's a four degrees of success. All right. So yeah, you you can see in it, and there is a uh, there is a guy driving it. Um, he looks much like the renegade uh, guardsman that you fought back in the complex. I'm gonna take a shot, brother. Any advice? As I tell him this as I take a full aim to aim at the uh, head of the driver. Um. I'd aim for the console as well during your shots in hopes of slowing down the train. It's just the driver himself will slow it down if he does. Fail. Do we get a bonus because the train is so huge and close? Or are we looking for something small? It's not the train itself. You already know it's there. I want to make you roll an awareness for something you already know it's there. Alright, well, I fail. If it's just challenging. So, it's, it's yeah, it's challenging. The possibility shield's still up, right? Yeah. Then I would succeed, just barely, if it's for motion detection. If not, then I still fail. You have to state that you're going to use the plus 10 before you make your roll. Then I'm good to go. Just remember you have it, so you can add it on the next shot. Sure. You make this awareness too, Sarah. That's both of you. Being aware of. You don't know. I mean, I passed. By oh, now you know. Infinite. So you see, um, like six, seven, six, holy shit. so you see the top pop on the train in front of you, and a guy comes up to the, the uh, top of it, and he is handed up a uh, rocket launcher from somebody below it, props it over his shoulder, and takes aim at you. Can I make a fortifications test, or a defensive test, can I use it? To determine if I know how far a rocket launcher will shoot. Uh, sure. <laughs> or do I know? Period. Since I'm a space marine. Yeah, go ahead. I guess. Make a something. <laughs> it's like well, hammer or something. I was common orb of intelligence. Yeah, be like intellect. That's what your tactics uh, would be I too. It's intellect. Any bonuses to that, so I failed my tactics thing. Yeah. Uh, um, Brother Castless, a man has just appeared on top of the train with what looks to be a rocket launcher. Uh, do you do you happen to know how far one would shoot? You want me to roll two? Uh, yeah, sure. Because, uh, I mean, he's, you're trying to, well, I guess I could just tell you, like, the average, because, I mean, um. I mean, our rocket launchers fire, like, 300 or something, so, like, extreme range would be, like, 1,200 meters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it'll, it'll, it'll hit you. Um, okay. okay. I'd suggest we shut the door, you shoot him. Okay, well, um, you see a, uh, well, I guess both of you, since you're still kind of just looking out there and doing whatever you're doing, you see a small flash of light psh, where the uh, rocket launcher is and a uh, missile speeding towards your ram now, or your rail, your mag train. I'm going to I'm gonna try to shoot the missile out of the air. All right, go for it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see here, one second. Yeah, this would be a called shot, right? Yeah, a called shot. Um, do I get my aim bonus towards this, or is that, that's cancelled since I was aiming at the driver. Can I do a quick action to aim, or is it just, rocket's coming at me, I'm gonna fire at it, and that's it. You can half action and fire at you. Um, it's basically gonna hit you, it's basically gonna collide somewhere on your mag rail in like two turns. I failed, dude. So Alright, so you take a, it miss. take a pot shot at it and miss. Close enough for me to smite. Uh, what's your smite range? I don't know. Three times my, five times my psi rating, 15 meters. No, I would have. It's gonna be hella close. Yeah, it's like. Okay, where's my fucking missile? Here. I guess while the missile's traveling our way, hose, can I jump pack to the other train? Flatbed? Or. Yeah, with a fly personal? Are you talking about jump? Jump over to the. You want to jump to your to flatbed? Or the train that's coming up behind to you? Like the train coming up behind us. Um, yeah, you could actually. You could jump back over to it. It, it would probably be like you jump and then hover and then try to land down on top of it. We'll do that. I cast list. I'm going. I'm going to put it into this. Or cast list. I'm going to put it into this chain, and then uh, I guess I'll go. Uh. I'd pass a pilot personal tip if I had to make one. So. All right, yeah, you'll have to make one. So, um, still have like another turn if you want to try to shoot that out, Castleus. Yeah, I do. Okay. Fail again. Brutal. Okay. Um. Alright, so you shoot again, and you miss the incoming missile, um, unfortunately. It collides with your mag rail, though it hits the flatbed and basically completely obliterates it. That was a close one. You hear Desmond, like, from the back, he's like, what the hell was that? We have an incoming enemy. You hear like some other, you hear like the really skinny guys, like the first time you heard his voice and he like responds, he's like, enemy? Incoming enemy? I don't say anything else. I'm preparing to uh, snipe the guy on top of the car. <laughs> alright. He's like, oh fuck. Um, alright. So, let's see how I'm going to do this. Probably roll out initiative. And we can go like that. Whoops. Just wasted a six. Wow. Oh, you D hundred to sixth? Oh, shitty. Oh, damn. Uh, eight. Okay. And mine sucks, of course. Like always. I'll just put, like, uh, let's see. I won't draw anything too fancy for. Of their stuff. You just need like four squares. Or however many train cars you need. Right. We can imagine the rooms and stuff. Use your imagination. Yeah, it's pretty small, so like it's like relatively mock size really. Oh, it's like huger than yours though. Fix that real quick. I'll be right back guys. I'll actually pause this while I draw this out. So I know you guys probably want to see this. Actually I'm gonna hit the end of the video here and when we come back we'll uh continue on with this fight or we'll start the fight I guess. See you guys there.